Hey guys. Hey there, Threadites. I hope everybody has their cutscene sandwiches ready. I got uh, PB and J today. Oh, GameCube. Yep. Hey, buddy. Thank you. And I'm, I'm shooting it up a little bit. This you know what? The uh, Snake's pistol is a better controller. <laughs> the wave bird is invincible. <laughs> Apparently. Well, it's worth that much money to shoot. And now I'm gonna dick around with the supercomputers. Oh, but he uses those to Otacon with. Speaking of Otacon, how's his locker feel? <laughs> hey, hollow. It, it feels safe in there. Oh, let's let's go get caught up with Merrill. I wonder how oh. she's doing. Actually, Incoming plot. Incoming plot. Actually, uh -huh. first let's go. Um, uh, let's go grab that gas mask I was talking about oh, earlier. So we just had we just had a false plot alarm. Yep. No. Nah, yeah. Yeah. Well, she's not. You had movie just, sign, but no movie appeared. She's oh. Not just hanging out outside the. The, the, the fight where all the bloody people are. That's crazy. <laughs> the animation of Snake that. running with a grenade over his head is pretty awesome, though. <laughs> yeah. ah! you, you know, if you hold the grenade in your hand too long, it will explode and hurt you, just like in real life. Wow. It's amazing. Oh, yes. Book and gas mask. Oh, this guy had a stun grenade collection. That was nice. I love to read book. <laughs> did you read book? Well, ah, I did. Who's that by? Did you guess? <laughs> it was by author. You see, yeah. <laughs> author does a lot of you know, and he's easy to find. He's the very head of the alphabetical section. The gas mask um, makes it hard to shoot with because it's like you're shooting out of your nose. <laughs> it, you just got to pretend you're an elephant. He's got a snake trunk. It, it covers your uh, laser pointer. It's, you, they should have thought of that. That's silly. You could use the I iron sight, I, I guess. But laser sights are. We're in the future. We're yeah. in the laser age, not the iron age. But he could have one big visor eye, and this would solve the problem. That's what I'm saying. Then it wouldn't look military enough. He'd look like Cyclops. Here. Is this radiation? Uh, it's gas. Like... It's gas. Ow. Radiation gas. Radi radio <laughs> gas. Red gas. Oh. Let's restock our Nikita bullets and throw some more grenades around like a jackass. <laughs> yes, we got night vision goggles. That's all yeah. I wanted in here. Let's this is the best party. Let's go. Look at all this confetti. Uh, the night That's... vision goggles are very cool and important. They're never cool or important. Sometimes oh. you use them in a cave and that's it. Can you use them to see mice? Yeah, but... Well, here, here, to see dogs? here, this is what they do. Hmm, that's not very helpful. Those lines are cool, though. Yeah. I, I like those. That's it. Now, how are you, you're outside. Did, how are you using Night Division goggles now? Um, magic? Doesn't make any sense. Also, I noticed Snake cannot push buttons with his butt. Uh, no, he can only push them with his fingers because he's full of finger butt. What about his butt fingers? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> better... No, there's no such thing as butt fingers. I thought there was, like, some sort of chocolate. <laughs> it's dancing time? A little bit. The chocolate might be on the wall now. Oh, are you gonna watch for things? Yeah, I, I gotta I gotta look for butts. <laughs> Speaking of butts. Actually, um I just got I, I wanna I wanna screw with a guy. We're close. He's gonna look for box. <laughs> He's not gonna look for box. We found it. We found it. There it is. We all found it together, oh god. I'm going to set a clever trap. But poor. There's no way this could backfire. <laughs> also, that's that's the lady from Eternal Darkness. Uh, okay, that that's all I had to say about that. She likes books. She's in a porn book. She likes with, with she her likes shirt book. on. <laughs> she Things likes downhill book. after Eternal Darkness. Uh, and that guy like, oh downhill. holy shit, is that Eternal Darkness? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Woohoo! I better not move this. I better worship this. I better better, better worship book. Oh, guy. Well, Turbo nap. he's asleep because of our sure book. Is. Our book trap worked.
It's not very good porno. Yeah, no, that, that's what I said. She's wearing her shirt and everything. It's the, yeah. They're not even. That's because GameCube is a children's system. <laughs> I mean, the, the... doesn't even have blood in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> The porno in um, uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, I mean, at least it's bikini ladies with cleavage. Yeah, so, you, you know, that could work. I could make that work. That's that's a video game character. All, all, this, whole, also, this whole base is staffed by nerds. No, you see, this is Alaska, and it's very lonely. Yeah, yeah. I suppose as standards get lower as density decreases. Density? Yeah. Oh, population. Okay. Anyway, Meryl, freeze. Oh, oh, it's you. Oh, she has to go pee. <laughs> oh, no. Cutscene begin? Yep. Don't move. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. <clears throat> You're Meryl. There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so... feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. <laughs> Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I'm a fan of Foxhound way back, when guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a guy who can only find meaning on the battlefield. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right. And you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield, the only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You can't stop loving war. Is it the same for all soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My Kodak was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? Anyway, how did you recognize me in disguise? Uh, I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Butt? Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? 
Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear, or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Now, where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. I heard that Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north of here. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down. I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I've always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father, he was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. And so, you became a soldier. I thought I was, until today. But now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself. Afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know... Take a good look. You won't be seeing mirrors for a while. There won't be any chances to wash your face, either. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. You lose, you die a dog's death. Yeah. Is that Famas functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol, too, but I chose this. Uh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Now you treat me like a woman? Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. It looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? All right, hey. Um, is the, Snake aware of the soundtrack? <laughs> is that what he's alluding to there? He, uh, he's 
definitely connected to it. Yes, he's like that's mm -hmm. awesome. Well, if you thought that was crazy, you're gonna you're gonna be in for a treat coming up soon. I like treats. Also, she's been using a Desert Eagle since she was eight years old. She must have had a lot of broken wrists. Dang. Dude, seriously, her forearms and wrists must be like steel alloy. Good on you. Man. Out of my way, Meryl. Oh, man. So much for Meryl taking point. <laughs> Box taking point. I've got some book to get, so... <laughs> First, the porn. Wait. Hey, 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 Meryl, I'm in a box. In the bathroom. I'm in a box, Meryl. Meryl, <laughs> Meryl, I'm in a box. It feels right in here. You look a little tired, Meryl. You look sleepy. You want to take a nap in the box? Come on, dude. What? Hey, Meryl. Oh, she's embarrassed. <laughs> you look so sleepy. I. Why I, are you staring what? at my. You, you're hey, very sleepy. Like, uh... There you go. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh. <laughs> Box and this adventure. Is why, this is why Snake has never had an awkward encounter. Snake. <laughs> oh, I'd better get. Oh, no. You can't stay in the box. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, all right. Let's, let's go do this then. I bet there's a cutscene here. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Who actually trusts someone who says they're fine and walks like that? That's crazy. Well, <laughs> Meryl on whiskey is mighty risky. <laughs> But a Merrill on beer is a beer engineer. Oh, we're looking through someone's eyes. I don't know who what? it could possibly be. It's Darth Vader. That's you crazy. can hear that breathing. Better we equip my missile launcher. <laughs> <laughs> Out of my way, Merrill. There's nobody in here, Merrill. You're a liar. <laughs> Why are we even here? Oh, there's a cutscene in here. Damn it. You fooled us. Ah! 
Axe effect too strong. Maybe on a sneaking mission you shouldn't use that much. Oh, <laughs> missile launcher to you. Snake, Meryl's not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's psycho well, we've got multiple weapons. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. Yeah, yay, yeah, we did it. Oh. Camouflage, huh? I hope that's not your only trick. You... you doubt my power. Now, I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. No, there's no need for words, Snake. I am... Psychomagus. That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. It's useless. I told you, I can read your every thought. You are a very methodical man. The type that always kicks his tires before he leaves. You are a highly skilled warrior, well suited to this stealth mission. You are extremely careful of traps. You are either very cautious, or you are a coward. Still don't believe me? Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. I see that you enjoy Nintendo games. You like action games? You've been playing Super Mario Sunshine, haven't you? Oh, so you've played Super Smash Bros. Melee before. You have not saved very often. You are somewhat reckless. I can read you like an open book. Don't believe me. I will show you my psychokinetic power. Put your controller on the floor. Put it down as flat as you can. That's good. Now, I will move your controller by the power of my will alone. Man, there are so many great things about that single cutscene. <laughs> it's pretty much all good.
the, the pain feeling. <laughs> oh, thanks to that, now whenever someone tells me to do something, I look off to the right and nod. <laughs> I better tell the player. You, do what he said. <laughs> Man, if Snake mounted at you, would you not do what he said? I think you would. He can't reach you, Jim. Oh, that's because I uh, switched the controller thing to the fourth slot on the GameCube Wii. Oh. So he's no longer psychic, so I can shoot him. Because if you try to shoot him without doing that, he just dies because he's a jerk. Also, he can't deal with your being on the floor. Right? <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'll throw all this stuff. Oh no, I shot Coach now. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, your copy of Metal Gear will explode. So. Yeah, he can't deal with it because um, all his projectile attacks uh, float just above your head when you're on the ground. I'm Except gonna barrel attack. Oh, yeah, uh, she shot uh -oh. me, so I'm just gonna shoot her in the knees and the butt and everywhere I can get my eyes on. Because if you hold first person view down too long, he'll take your vision. Oh, what a jerk move! He'll rip your eyes out, man. Oh, you need those to see with though. Oh, that's a dick move, Mantis. Come on. Uh, don't blow your brains. Don't listen to him. Don't do Meryl, it. No. Don't shoot your hair! It's nice. He's got some kind of weird wacky wing style. I shot him instead of her. <laughs> it still works. It wasn't fatal. She's gonna be so sleepy. She's gonna feel rocky when she gets to the next part of the game. I got 300 cc's of horse tranquilizer in the knee. What do you want? <laughs> Meryl will be talking in slow motion for the rest of the game. <laughs> Snake, you like me? <laughs> oh, quick, read the papers on the desk. I think it's clear. Here's the key. <laughs> my saw. My bow. Well, when you move that slow, you don't make a lot of noise. There's that. Yeah, but it makes the uh, avoiding guards a little <laughs> freaky. Man, you snake punches like a midget. Yeah, and I sometimes run into psychokinetic fireballs. I guess they are. I don't know what they are. I... It's a uh, pyrokinesis. Well, it's not really I fire. It was color spray. Yeah, it, it's a lens flare. I keep getting hit by psychic <laughs> lens flares. Oh, late 90s gaming, ouch. Ugh. Next boss uses colored lighting. Oh, man. You're not ready for HDR, boss. <laughs> for <laughs> HDR, Cooper. It's like a man is getting pretty beat up. Yeah, I'm kind of getting beat up, too, though. Well, I'm in the green. I'm fine. I'm cool. Snake oh, loves good. it. Snake? It's like when John McClane had to walk across the glass to kick, uh... didn't love that at all. Well, no, but... He complained about it the whole time. He had to get beat up to, to beat Alan Rickman up and drop him off the building. Also, I guess it, it did help his jet lag, so... Yeah. Dead. Also, you know what? Go, shut up, Mantis. You're done. You're done. <laughs> Colonel, your niece is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off. Right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake? Or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people. But that does not mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. Wasn't able.
able to read the future. The strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so. But I will read your future. To get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base, you have to go through the hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. The Overland Route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers, then use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the pasts, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. <clears throat> and each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and that abistic desire to pass on one seed. It was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way, and that is why there is war. But you are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth, and he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> We are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just want an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen true evil. Snake, seeing you calms my soul. You're like the boss. No, worse. Compared to you, I'm like a saint. I read her mind as well. Meryl's. I saw you there. You have a large place in her heart. A large place. And getting bigger. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind. Before I die, I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. Your future go through that door. <laughs> 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 
Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl. How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're going to doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Don't regret your past. Learn from it. Regrets just make a person weaker. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? More complaints? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering... What? What's the problem now? Oh, no. Nothing. So tell me, Snake, what's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone, just like Manta said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on, let's go. But before we go, let's go and get a dog tag. Hey, 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 I'm gonna carry like this dead tags. Russian guy around. Oh, maybe he's just pretending. Well, I, I always shot him with tranquilizer gun, so I don't know if I got so beat up. He was allergic. Uh, At least doesn't blow the fuck up for no real reason, except for nano bombs, like some other bosses I know. Well, let's call Mei Ling. That's not her number. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me? Called Mei Long. <laughs> oh crap! Well, let's uh. Snake, good goodbye, Mei Ling. We're we're gonna go save a game and leave. That's cool. Mei Ling's talking about breathing. Yeah, whatever. We believe him. That's why we went through the door. You dumb. We know how to do that. Jeez. Bye, Mailing. Bye, Meryl. Bye, everyone else. Next time, wolves. Or wolf dogs. Goodbye. Next time, cutscene.